Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Today is episode number 291 on my journey to 1800 ELO. So if you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what your uh, favorite kind of animal is. And uh, yeah, we're going to get right into today's game. Boom. Switch the scene. Get some tunes on. Get the tunes on. All right. Let's see who we're going to play today. I had trouble filming a video um, earlier because I was having a bunch of people aboard games on me. So we're playing a 1328. Good luck, my friend, Arson from Armenia. <clears throat> All right, Horowitz defense. Here we go, playing C4. So I imagine that he's gonna bring El Bishopo out over yonder. We're going to play knight to c3. All right. Plays d5. I can get my knight out first. I can also just kind of play solidly like this. Um, but I'm going to start with getting the knight out and then maybe playing e3. Oh. Interesting, um, always interesting to me to n play anything other than what I'm comfortable with. And uh, if you guys are familiar with the channel, we are comfortable with the London. So learning to get comfortable with these Queen's Gambit positions is new for me. But overall, I think it's a healthy endeavor. Um, I'm going to play with my Dark Squared Bishop at home. And... Uh, Try to get my light squared bishop over here to d3. He's going to have a bad light squared bishop, and I'm going to have technically a bad dark squared bishop. All right, we'll take the pawn. So I imagine he's setting up for, for this, which is fine. If I play a4 here, and he plays that, takes... He can't do that, so. I will play a4, just to inhibit that move a bit. Boom. Yeah, I'm not worried about that, so. Go ahead and uh, take my friend. That is fine with me. Um, I think that a4 is probably inaccurate just because I'm not allowed to play a3 anymore. My pawn can't go backwards. But, <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like we're fine. I think I would like to drop my bishop down to d3. I think it's just a better square overall for my bishop. So, He must put his knight here, maybe. He can't because my queen, but... Gotta be careful. So... Pretty equal position here. Our king is castled. His, at the moment, is not. And I would be happy for him to take, I think. That's how we feel in these positions. I also agree that, um... That knight does a good job of allowing him to maybe even play b6. It kind of pins his, uh... Yeah, so now he definitely can play like a b6 if he wants to, but I'm not too worried about that. So if I do this, I 
I guess right now this is a like where do I want to put my pieces kind of thing because uh, I should be trying to be on the uh, on the king side because he's probably gonna castle king side. So I'm gonna pin the bishop potentially. He might want to trade. This might be a bad move by me, but... We're getting developed. Maybe I can think about trying to push, like, E4. So, not at all sure what he's uh, going for. Maybe he wants to castle queenside now. Um... I'm just gonna bring in my knight to uh, e5. Try and pose some problems. Yeah, it would be cool if he takes, but I have a feeling he's not gonna take my knight ever because I played a4. Um, so I'm not really feeling like I want him to, uh, have this bishop. Maybe I don't care. <clears throat> I could play like a F5 sort of move to like really start to put pressure on him. Maybe that's what we'll do. I would like to maybe like rook lift. I don't know. He might castle queenside. Um, and if he does that, it, this will be not as effective for sure. I don't know why he hasn't castled yet, but maybe because he wants to go queenside. He's kind of leaving it up in the air, what he wants to do. All right. So I think I want to take back this way. All right. So if I take this, he's got to take. Takes. 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 Yeah, I think I'd still rather him actually take me. Here. Yeah, like, I mean, if he takes with, um, I could move, like, my knight like this or something if I want to as well. But, um, yeah, I don't think I'm too worried about him actually being the one that takes, so. This doesn't do what I wanted to do because the queen is here. But I could take, 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 and then try and do something like that. Um, if I move my bishop here, is that a good move? <clears throat> Maybe he just goes here. Um, so again, I'm not really opposed to him taking, I don't think. So, this is defended still. Um, if I bring my queen here, this would be more defended. I'd have pressure here. If he takes, I take. He's got to move the bishop. Where does he move the bishop to? He just backs up, maybe. Because that's his only move. Because the queen is in the way. <clears throat> I don't mind that. I also like the, the idea of this. Um... can't move the knight anywhere crazy so yeah I don't think I'm too worried about anything like that another cool move might be trying to double the rooks but 
think I'm gonna just improve my queen's position here. Hopefully I'm not really missing something because to me this feels like it would be okay. He might move his bishop here to d6 now. Maybe then I could play bishop to... So if I take... If I take, what is he going to do? Take like that. If I take, he could, oh, he could take with a knight. If I take and he takes like this, I could... I can't take that pawn right away, but that would be a relative weakness. Takes, takes, then he puts the rook here. So if I go check and he just moves, I'm going to take. Um, I'm like fully developed. His king is in the center. Why not? It undoubles my pawns. He moves his queen here. Maybe I do this. Discovery on, or uh, check on the king, and um... all right, that was a nice victory for us. Um... He wants an immediate rematch. Sorry, my friend. Not today. Not today. Um, we played with 80.7% accuracy. Our opponent played a pretty low accuracy game, but um, that's okay. I know how it is sometimes. So 80.764 by our opponent. Looks like we were doing pretty good. We had one miss, so let's see what we did wrong. Um, maybe a few inaccuracies as well, but... So it actually likes my bishop coming out here to uh, g5. Um, so the best move here is e4. Um, I don't think I would have found that, but I feel like a4 was a bit weakening for me. I was really thinking he was going to play like a b5 sort of move, and he didn't have to. Um, so this was inaccurate as well. Again, it wants e4. Um, I don't know if I would have played e4, but two pawns in the center makes sense. I, I get it. <clears throat> he played queen to e7, which was a mistake. Um, c5 would have been a good move for him. Um, I did not capitalize on it at all. It still wants e4, so e4 is literally what needs to be found in this position. Um, I didn't care that he took. We're just better here. Um, and I know that we're better. Um, my queen move was not the most accurate. Um, e4, again. <laughs> e4. E4. Um... So that was inaccurate. I missed an opportunity here. Um, taking the knight, he takes. I win the pawn. Well, I'm hitting the queen. The queen would have to move. Or he'd have to take the knight just right away. If he takes the knight right away, I can take, take. Actually, if he takes, if he takes, yeah, I see. So I could take the, I take, he takes, and then um, I can win this, yeah, which is better because I'm on the file and just forget about this pawn. That makes more sense. Okay. Um, he blundered here. Uh, I didn't even find the best move, but um, 
it was apparently taken with the knight, which is kind of funny, because I think he would have just taken my uh, my queen. But now taken with the knight works because the bishop's undefended, and so we would have won the bishop. But he uh, could have just played, I think, g6 here, and it would have threatened my queen. I kind of saw it after I moved, but he moved the queen over to g6, so this I didn't expect him to play this move. I kind of... After I moved the queen there, I kind of saw that he could just do this. Um, and I don't know. I was thinking about sacking my bishop was kind of like, you know, if he had actually played g6, I was thinking about sacking the bishop. Um, so I, I still think he would have been crushed. But um, this was really bad because we could just take with check. And if he takes the bishop, we take the rook with check. I mean, he's just he's getting checkmated here. So... Sweet, um, where is my accuracy? Why is it not showing the, uh, the accuracy? Oh, there it is. Alright, back to this. We played like a 1750, he played like a 900. Um, I do think he played a pretty poor game for 1300 rating, but... I've been playing people that have been playing either amazingly, like, you know, or they still blunder a piece. And I've been doing the same thing. I've been, like, blundering a piece and losing the game from the beginning or playing, like, a really long game and then blundering a piece finally. Um, and it it's, it's, it's tough because I feel like I can play solid for a long time, but I get tired of thinking and, boom, I just make a mistake and the whole game is lost. This was uh, the opposite of that. This was, I, I played a pretty decent game here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, if you did, please like, subscribe. Um, let me know that you enjoyed it. Um, that really makes, makes my day. And um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I will catch you guys on the next one. See you tomorrow.